In today's English lesson, we are going to visit a lake house and talk about all of the English words and terms you might need to know if you ever visit a place like this. And it looks like you can see me filming with my phone in the reflection of my sunglasses. And the first word I would like to teach you just because one landed nearby is dragonfly. Yeah, that's what that animal is called, a dragonfly. And the next one I'd like to teach you, it's right here, it's right over my shoulder. That thing in the water is called a buoy. It's fun to say, buoy. The next term I would like to teach you is dock. I'm standing on a dock right now. It's usually the place that's probably made of wood where you will attach a boat to. There are many docks along the lake with boats attached to them. Pretty complicated sentence, I think. And right below me is something we would call a kayak. And to paddle a kayak, it's probably the verb we would use, to paddle a kayak, you would use either a paddle or an oar. We use both of those terms interchangeably. It looks like somebody left their sandals on the deck along with a red plastic shovel. Probably a kid who was digging in the sand. Right at the shore here, there is a little bit of sand underneath the water and something tells me that person was probably digging holes in the sand here. Or maybe right here, there's a little bit of a sandbox or a sand pit here. We'd call this thing right here a deck and uh, right up there is that red thing is an umbrella and it keeps the sun off the deck. It's a little hot today, but under the deck, that really long boat, we call a canoe, a little different from a kayak. And these things we would call floats or that, what color is that? Like that blue one, we might call that a tube. And who doesn't like a campfire right right behind me there? That's some camp wood. Or you might just hear it called wood. And that thing right down there, we would probably call that either a flat top or a griddle. And it does have a propane tank with it. Now that thing right behind me, right there, we would call that a grill. It also has a propane tank. And to clean it, you would use a grill brush. And at night, there are some lights that light up, and we would probably call those a string of lights. If you are learning any English from this lesson, do you mind uh, hitting that like button up there? And if you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. And there is, uh, in my hand right here, this is a wiffle ball bat. It's a lot like baseball, but you can play it at camp and you don't have to worry about breaking any windows. And right here, this is a wiffle ball. So this lake house does not have stairs. It actually has a ramp, which is really convenient if somebody is older and they are in a wheelchair. All right, this thing right here, we would call a, a trailer. And right at the front of the trailer, is something called the trailer hitch. Um, right there. Trailer hitch, you can hitch that onto your car or truck. If you're at a lake, one thing you might want to do is fish. So let's take a look at a fishing pole or a reel. If something is real, it's not fake, but it's spelt like that, a fishing reel is spelled like that. And we would call this thing a tackle box. Yeah, you use it when you fish. And that green thing all coiled up behind the fishing reel, 
coiled up. Is that a new English phrasal verb for you? Well, we would just call that a hose. And right down there, that thing, it's just another type of float. There's a boat floating by right now. Not sure if you can see it, I'll get a better picture, but we call that a pontoon boat. And you see the white water behind that pontoon boat? We say that is the boat's wake. W-A-K-E, wake. Like the thing you might do in the morning, you wake up. But this is just called a wake. And that other boat behind the tree, we would probably just call a fishing boat. A fishing boat with a motor. And something like this, you, you probably know is a towel, but if it's colorful, like this one, you might hear it called a beach towel. And this thing right here, uh, I think it's Hawaiian, I'm not sure, but we call it a tiki torch. It lights up at night, but also you can put in this oil I think it's called citronella oil. And when it burns, it also helps to keep bugs like mosquitoes away from you. We might say tiki torches keep the bugs away. It's always nice and relaxing at the lake house. If you want to learn more about relaxing in English, I filmed another video here last summer. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.